Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I was like, good morning, do I say good morning? Today, today's gonna be a great day, and do you know why, Kevin? Cause every day's a great day. How'd I do? It was okay. Did I pass? No, it was great, actually, yeah. Oh, man. Hello there, guys. Welcome to my new apartment in Los Angeles, California, where dreams come to die. <laughs> so about a month ago, I packed up all my stuff, put it into a storage unit in Indianapolis, and Olive and I, we drove to California. I asked my friend, I said, hey, could I stay in your little blue bungalow for a month while I figure stuff out, while I find an apartment? As you can tell from the this frame, we're in it, baby. We're in the new place. Uh, feels a little sad. <laughs> my pod is, uh, is like 10 days behind, so it's gonna be here in 10 days. So uh, that's fun. And uh, I texted my dad that he's like, hey, where, when's the pod coming? And I'm like, dad, we have 10 days left. <laughs> he's like, oh, that's just, that's just more video content. And I said, dad, you totally get it, bro. You get it. One, two. Not too bad there, earth. So pretty. Every time after a rain, this is like it's the best time to go for a walk. Let me get a rainbow. I'm so lucky to call this my neighborhood again. Woo. Happy boys. Happy boy. Happy girl. I lived in Los Angeles from 2016 to 2020. And then I spent the last three years in Indianapolis where I'm from. I don't think there was a day that went by that I didn't think of California. For me, I, I have been able to tap into the magic of it here and the energy and I just, I absolutely love it. When I lived here the first four years, I lived in an area called Los Feliz and Silver Lake. And they're kind of like two neighborhoods that are connecting, that are right next to each other. And I truly, I just fell in love with the neighborhood and the shops and the coffee and the people and the vibes. And uh, so when I moved out here, I was like, it's kind of a no-brainer just coming back here to a familiar place where I just knew I was going to fall right back into the rhythms of my previous LA life. I mean, if you live in LA, you call it the East Side or you call it hipster gay central. But yeah, we're back, baby. Guys, let's take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, AG1. Maintaining your health, especially during the holiday madness, isn't easy. Managing stress along with supporting your immune system are essential to maintaining your health. And since I'm flying home this year uh, to see the family for the holidays, I need to do everything I can to stay healthy for me and for everyone. And that's where our little friend AG1 helps out. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. Your whole body, baby. Your whole dang thing. Instead of addressing one area of the body, foundational nutrition supplements raise our baseline health. AG1 supports the brain, the gut, and the immune system. I love that it supports my focus when I'm editing videos. Uh, it helps me get into the flow state of things. It's an essential part of my morning routine. I'm a big believer that one healthy decision leads to more healthy decisions. Essential vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced antioxidants support immune defenses in the body. AG1 also supports your metabolism, and promotes mental clarity, alertness, and better focus. If a pineapple and a mango fused together, this is what it would taste like. <laughs> Save $20 when you subscribe at drinkag1.com slash Mark E. Miller. AG1 is gonna give you guys a free one-year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, you guys. What's up? What's happening? Our goal is to find plants because my place is looking, <laughs> looking a little sad and uh, also a stool just so I can work at my apartment. There's a dude peeing about eight feet from me right now. But hey, listen, you gotta go, you gotta go. We support the health of men's bladders here on the Mark E. Miller YouTube channel. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood, baby. I'm looking for Kind of like actually one of these, a big palm, Kentia palm. Uh, not you, you're too big. Sorry, it's just too big. I ain't taking you home today, baby. What do you guys think? Should I get one of these for the holidays? C chrysanthemums? 
Here we go. Majesty Paul, baby. Ooh. How you looking, girl? A couple of you coming home with us. All right, no stools, uh, but we have plants and we scored. We did really well. I wanted to show you guys that I did get a stool from Goodwill for $9. It's a lovely stool. And once all my stuff comes, I'm just gonna take this bad boy back to Goodwill and uh, be reunited with its other partner. Cause it had, <laughs> there were two of these, but I only needed one. Also, I went on a date last night and we went to a bakery and I have a bunch of leftover cookies to eat today, so it's very exciting. <laughs> it's your birthday today, by the way. Did you know that? December 6th, baby. It's your birthday. What are we gonna do? Yeah, maybe go on a hike. Lots of treats. We're actually in a pretty similar uh, neighborhood than I was the first time I was here. Uh, so it's pretty nice. Ooh, wait, come here, come here. It's kind of cool. This is why I love Silver Lake is that you get, you walk around the hills and you'll just turn the corner and you'll get like a beautiful glimpse of uh, downtown. Anyways, I just think it's kind of cool. Tonight is our second night in the new apartment. I slept like shit last night, to be honest with you. Um, it was a bit of like, it was, wow, I just look rough. Uh, it was a bit of a shock just driving here and I don't know, I just, I had like a wave of a, like overwhelming anxiety uh, that lasted about two hours and uh, feel great when I woke up this morning, but uh, you never know when that's gonna, that's just gonna come up, you know? Took a bit of CBD. I feel better. I feel a little better. Yeah. I ordered this little mattress on Amazon. It's quite comfy, but uh, my silly ass cut the mattress. Well, at least the cover to it. Uh, well, I was opening up. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but the ceilings are, I think it's called barreled, barreled ceilings, which is just so cool. Little, little wall sconces. Uh, that's kind of the main reason I was pulling for this apartment was it has the character, it has the charm, and it also has the, the musty odor of a 1920s building. But believe you me, my gay ass has candles everywhere. You happy here? Yeah, you see that funky kitchen floor too? How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. ginger ale. You like ginger ale? Careful with your little snoot. Yeah, careful with your little snoot. I don't want to burn your whiskers off. This month, or I guess like November, uh, this is my 11th year doing YouTube. So thank you for being here. I love you guys, truly. Probably not as much as I love this lemon blueberry cookie though. But it's close. You guys obviously know Donnie. He's like my straight best friend back home. And uh, my straight best friend here in LA is named Mitch. We went to college together. We studied film together. And uh, he lives five minutes away from here. I was having lunch with him the other day and he asked me, um, is LA home to you? I think some people find themselves bitching about living in a city like LA. Uh, the cost of living, the traffic, the people. We make the choice to try to have a positive attitude about our experience here uh, and lean into the ways in which it makes us feel inspired as artists. And uh, he asked me, does LA feel like home? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, do you feel like you're, do you feel like you can be your best self here? Uh, and it was a pretty answer. It was pretty easy for me to answer that. And I was like, yeah, for sure. Like living in Indianapolis and the suburbs in the Midwest, uh, it didn't feel very, didn't feel natural to me. I felt like there was a lack of inner congruency within myself. I was out of alignment and, uh, here I don't feel that way. I feel like I can walk down the street and, uh, the people I see feel liberated and just feel like home. <laughs>
I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for continuing to support me, all the stuff. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys. Let's see if I can zoom here. Oh yeah, look at this. No hands, no hands, ma. Guys, I also have a Patreon. Uh, if you wanna go support me on there, I make extra weekly content like a podcast. Uh, all the YouTube videos that you watch here, these are shown like oh, upwards of like a week early on Patreon. I love you and I see you and a bye. Boop. Happy Thanksgiving from the beach. No one will know that you were an hour late for lunch today. Shh, it was traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can't say. You I can live say in LA. You if you live in LA and you're traffic. ever late, just blame traffic. You can't, you can't do it. It's I, a real thing. It, it's a bullshit excuse. But it's real. Your traffic. Well, it took... Yeah, I guess. <laughs>